we can't fight this feeling when so many years have meaning there's no way to go if we stop now we stop breathing dressed I'm Jafaris, I'm 22 years old and I'm an entertainer. I came from Zimbabwe. Um, I moved to Ireland when I was about six. I'm practically Irish now, to be honest, so there's no musical background in my family whatsoever. My mom kind of sang in the church, like in the choir slightly. That's probably why I got a bit of my musical talents from. An average day in my life, I would say, is being in here in the studio or if I'm not in the studio, I'm rehearsing. And if I'm not rehearsing, I'm writing a song. And if I'm not writing a song, I'm with my friends writing a song. And if I'm not with my friends writing a song, I'm with my girlfriend. So an average day isn't really average for me. It's kind of, every day is different. One day I could be in England, the next day I could be in Holland, I don't know. So life is different <laughs> every day. I started music when I think I was 16, 16, 17. And a friend of mine from church, actually, he, he just started music out of nowhere. And he presented me the song that he had, and I was like, what, I didn't even know you did music. Oh, okay. And I wasn't, like, I came from a dancing background, so I was a dancer, never did music, never picked up a pen to write or anything. So when he presented me that, I was like, this is interesting. I think what I found attracted me to writing was because I was an introverted person, I could say everything I wanted on the paper. Like, it's like, I couldn't explain or express myself to certain people, like my girlfriend or my mom. Like, I couldn't even say, like, I love you comfortably. It was just like, it just never came out properly. But when I put it in song, it's something that I'm like, yo, they need to hear this because this is how I feel. I can't say this in words, if you get me. So that's probably, that's where it came from. I like, I like most about rapping or music in general is just the freedom to be yourself. The styles I specialize in, I don't know, I don't like to box myself in, but I think I'm more dominant when it comes to just rapping like a like on old school type beats or whatever, just rapping or soul, some R&B type stuff, but I'm still trying to figure out how to write a perfect song if you get me like write and arrange proper songs i feel like i'm progressing and i'm getting better and understanding more about my voice and how to use it and which which part of my emotions i'm trying to attack when i'm writing a certain song but when it comes to neo soul it's something that i'm super attached to when i listen to it, it just speaks to me more like we we did a show in electric picnic and we had an orchestra behind us and it was like a soul section but it got me to my knees. It was like, it was something that really like hit me for real. But yeah, I think soul is probably something I'm more attached to in music. My style has probably evolved. When I think about when I started, all I was doing was rapping. Like there was no singing, there was no melody. So I feel like I've evolved in a sense where I'm able to add melodies and kind of make people feel what I feel when I listen to music rap wise. You can say a lot and people kind of relate to what you're saying, but when there's a melody involved, it's it's different. You don't even need to know what they're saying. It's just, you have, you if you know the melody, you have it, like you feel that. So I think I've evolved in the sense where I'm able to add feeling to my music. My typical workflow, when I'm writing a song, I think I can't write, like I could do acapella stuff, I can write without any beats or whatever, but I feel like when I'm trying to write a song that I want people to hear, it has to definitely start with the music. Starting with a chorus is probably the best thing to do when you're writing a song. I usually start with a verse, so it's just typical structure, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus. That's kind of what I do, but I feel like because my music is trying to portray a lot of substance and a lot of conscious thought, if that's what you call it, philosophical type stuff so I usually start with a verse because I have a lot to say and I usually say a lot in one verse and then I squeeze out a second verse and then when it comes to the third verse I'm kind of like maybe I'll get someone on this track or maybe I'll just let like I'll leave the third verse out of it but my workflow with a producer is kind of similar but because we're making the beat together it's kind of like 
he starts with like my producer anyways Chris Provenza when he starts he starts with the drums because that's his specialty so he starts with the drums and there's always a vibe so I'm kind of bouncing but I have nothing in my head until the keys are placed so that's when I kind of have oh maybe this melody could go well here and then we start sectioning it out and that's kind of how it creates a song yeah favorite moment while I was performing was probably at Electric Picnic on the Other Voices stage when people started singing my lyrics to me. That's like it wasn't a whole bunch of people because I don't have like a huge fan base yet, but it was just like even the few people that were at front that I don't have a clue who they are, it was just like, whoa, that was that was amazing. And my favorite moment in the studio was probably when we were making my single If You Love Me. Like when we made that beat, everyone was out of the studio. It was just me and Chris, and usually everyone is in the studio when we're making music, but this was just like me and Chris. The whole day we were just lacking inspiration. It was like, oh, what's going on? And then as soon as he started playing certain chords and we started getting like into the flow of things, every, like it was just crazy. And then when we finished the song and people started walking in, we just kept showing everybody, like, listen to this drop and listen to this. And it was like, yo, that was probably my favorite moment gear I'd use. I haven't used the guitar in a while, but I'd say I'll use the guitar. I was just in there writing a song on the keys, so the keyboard as well. Um, I used to write on pen and paper until like iPhones had notes and stuff, so I think it's easier that way. It's portable, so you can walk around and write a song while you're on the bus or whatever. And obviously a laptop to make beats and stuff, so those are kind of the, the gears I'd use. A tip I'd give somebody, which I'm still struggling to put into action, is not being passive with your music. Like, be 100% free for yourself. Like, people will always give you opinions and like tell you maybe this is a better hook or this, this, whatever. And they, they're probably right, but if you feel like it's right and you penned it down because you you agree with what you're saying and how you're saying it just go with it 100% because music is subjective. They might not like it, but 10,000 other people might like it. That's one tip. And know your business, know your music business, know exactly what you're getting into. Because aside from it being a passion, you also need to know who's taking care of you, why they're taking care of you, and where they're gonna bring you, how far they're willing to go for you to succeed. I'm only starting to enjoy performing now because I, I think when I started music, I was just a super shy person in general. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty much an introvert. So being in front of a crowd wasn't natural for me. But now it's something that like, I can't even explain. I get on there and I'm like a whole different person. I feel like all these people are welcoming me in, into their lives. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's a crazy experience. People like jump into your music and listening to your voice and hearing me in between songs i like to ramble about like what the song is about and stuff and people are actually super engaged so it's, it's a whole different experience for me sometimes you gotta match with the weather